and the regular version are going to get those added bonuses. It's a way that you level up your costume, you get extra. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we are doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Costume Tubertus. This guy is absolutely stunning. Some might say that he rocks. Literally, he rocks. He's got 688 on his attack, 675 on his defense, and 1140 on his health. Statistically, the attack power Pretty okay. Nothing too crazy. Defense, eh, it's about average. Health total, about average. His stats, about average for four star. Not too bad. A little bit higher attack power than normal for the four star range. It's, it's all right. He's running at average speed. He is a costume hero, which means he gives you a bonus. An attack bonus of 5%, defense bonus 5%, health bonus 10%, mana bonus 5%. What this means is when you get the costume, as long as you level up the costume version, both the costume version and the regular version are going to get those added bonuses. It's a way that you level up your costume, you get extra bonuses. It's pretty sweet. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. If you want a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is click on the link in the description. If you're a new player, you get a one day XP boost, three Raid Flasks, one Ancient Shard, one Void Champion Bulwark, and 50 gems, all your treasure. It's waiting for you right over here. As far as his hero special goes, he deals 175% damage to all enemies, and all enemies get minus 34% defense for four turns. So the biggest issue or the biggest thing that changes between him and the regular version, regular version deals a little bit more damage, uh, and then also makes it so that it's going to be only three characters are going to get the defensive down, and it's going to be for six turns instead. So you have a little bit of a trade-off that goes on with using the costume version with the regular version. What I love about the costume version is all enemies feel the wrath of the Kiss wannabe, which by the way, did Small Giant get sued for just using a clearly blatant ripoff of Kiss? Can we talk about that? Is there a lawsuit in place on that? I need to know, I need answers. So I do appreciate what this character does. He is running now, if you throw some emblems on him, he's gonna get the Paladin emblem, which keeps him alive a little bit longer. If you are throwing emblems on this guy, I would definitely kind of go more the well-rounded well -rounded route with him, uh, emphasizing the attack, defense, and then health. You want to go that route, and then also kind of pick the modes where mana is important. You always want this guy to be going off as fast as possible. As far as his grades go against a Titan, he is going to get an A-. minus. Now, the only reason why he's going to be getting an A- minus versus an A is because if, you're, if you have the costume version, that means that you're gonna have the regular version, you get them both together, and the regular version is just better against Titans. Uh, it's a solid character to bring, but you're gonna have just the regular version is just better, being that it's 34% defense for six turns versus four turns with this guy. You're not really caring too much about the, the direct damage part to it so much, but it's just gonna be the fact that the regular version is gonna give you the six turn on the defensive down, but it's still really, really important. You still need that defensive down, so if you're battling between the two, use the regular version. You don't need to use the costume version on the Titans. He's gonna get an A minus grade there. Now, when we take a look at him offensively, he is going to get an A plus. I absolutely love this character. Being able to pair him with literally any other character that deals damage is just amazing. Being that he is running at average speed, 34% defense is quite a bit, even for five stars, and doing it to all enemies at average speed is just an awesome character. Not to mention you can compare him with a bunch of other characters in purple, such as like Panther. So you got the defensive down plus the elemental defensive down, and it doesn't matter if they're in the far right corner by themselves. It doesn't have any sort of situation there, and just gives the, the defensive down an absolute monster on offense. 
going to get an A-plus grade there. Now, when we look at him defensively, he is going to get a B-plus as far as the tank grade goes. I do appreciate what this character does. You got to make sure that you got some emblems on him if you are throwing him on defense. Being able to set it up so all characters are going to get the defensive down for four turns, and it is dealing some damage. Where he has a little bit of an issue, though, is that he's a little fragile. I know behind that war paint, he's not really the, the toughest character in the world in terms of staying alive. So you got a little bit of an issue. He doesn't really have defensive tank stats going with him. But if he does go off, it's going to be really annoying to kind of get through. Uh, and for four turns, all enemies are going to get impacted. So that does help you out. He is going to get the B plus grade there. Same kind of situation there in the flank. Average speed hitting all characters, giving them all defensive down. Four turns, solid character, uh, gonna get a B plus grade there. And then in the wing, he is gonna get a B grade there. Uh, I don't really think that that's the best point. If you are gonna be using him in the wing, you wanna make sure it's all the way to the very far left because you wanna have the defensive down before any of your other hero specials go off to the right. So you wanna make sure if you are using him on defense, he is more on the left side, either the left flank or the left wing. Um, so that way they get the defensive down before anything else goes off to the right if your characters get their mana specials up. So that's pretty cool. Overall, defensively, he's gonna get a B plus. This might be close to an A minus. Um, if you are gonna be using him, he is definitely one of the better characters in purple that if you have four stars that are gonna be on your defense, he is one of those better characters that could be used and very annoying to battle against. When we get into his weekly raid grades, he is going to get an A plus on rush attack. Very fast. I don't think that I need to spell this out for you, but very fast. All characters getting damage and all characters getting defensive down for four turns is going to be quite annoying. I actually love running this character. Pretty much I use him on every single, like every single four star raid tournament that I have because he's just a nuisance. Uh, same thing kind of applies to buff. I just, I appreciate what he does. He just gives the defensive down to all characters. If they're trying to increase their defense, he says, I don't care. Shut your mouth. You're going down. You're going negative on your defense. You're not increasing your defense. Doesn't matter to me. Stop. And then he just murders you and allows all the other damage to go through. And on bloody battle, again, spelling it out for you, a character running at average speed, giving you defensive down to all your characters and damage to you. Makes it so you die really quickly. You don't want to be hit by this. It's very, very annoying to deal with. So an amazing character all throughout all the weekly raids. He is going to get an overall grade of an A plus half. Very close to an A plus. Possibly should just get that A plus grade. The only issue that I have is going to be that Titan score. That's a little bit of an issue. Now I know what you're going to ask me. Is it better to use the regular version or the costume version? I think that honestly that depends on you. I personally like the costume version a bit more on offense and I like the regular version obviously more uh, against the Titan, but this version I think is better on defense and the weekly raid, I think that they kind of split. They're uh, pretty amazing throughout there. So I think it's just a solid, solid character. Depends on what you're using it for. Uh, but I love actually both versions of Tobertus. One of the better characters that I ever had in the very beginning. So you should definitely be stoked by having Tobertus costume. So thank you so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe. Turn those notifications on. Like the video. I'll see you on the next one.